Our company has wireless at the speed of fiber in a metro network, and that's why we call ourselves fiberless. Uh, we believe, as does the CTO of New York City, that the future of ubiquitous connectivity is through wireless coming off of fiber. And our company has, uh, as I said, wireless at the speed of fiber in a metro area. And to cover a city and have ubiquitous high-speed communications, wireless is really the only option. And our company has led the, uh, the rulemaking and the opening up of very high frequency spectrum between 71 to 76, 81 to 86, and uh, that's commonly known as E-band. It's uh, 10 gigahertz of spectrum. It represents more than 20% of all the authorized spectrum, uh, commercial spectrum in the world. And because of that huge block of spectrum, you can transmit uh, data, voice, videos at very high speed. So it's really a middle mile solution as well as the last mile solution. You've had Miguel Gamino, uh, the, the CTO for New York City, talk about the opportunity for the city. And he's talked about the diversity uh, between the people, the industries here, the opportunity for connectivity, hence the Moonshot Challenge, which is going on uh, right now with this test of here. And they're all precursors to the future of telecommunications in the city, which, which he has enumerated extremely well in his interview with you. And, and we believe he's on the right track. So how it will change is that wireless will fill in the voids in connectivity, if you will. Uh, the solution of wireless provides two things. It provides both the qualitative and quantitative connectivity, but also the economic solution. To have ubiquitous communications, the only way forward to this state has been putting in fiber. Even the cell systems, they're now replacing one macro cell with say 10 micro cells. You need more and more fiber, and that's very expensive. So that's where wireless comes into play, as, as has been recognized by the CTO of New York City. And so, as I said earlier, we, we opened up the E-band spectrum. Uh, and I actually petitioned the FCC to open up this spectrum. And with this huge block, we can now transmit at very high speeds. So we, for New Yorkers, we can take connectivity out to uh, remote areas of the city, you know, Brooklyn, Red Hook, and do that very cost effectively. And in fact, one of the exciting things about the Moonshot Challenge, which we're participating in on this island, is not only do we have the high-speed transmission to connect the island to Brooklyn or Manhattan, we're deploying Wi-Fi and we're working with Green Zebra. Green Zebra is one of our subcontractors and they bring to the table two important elements. One is the high-speed uh, Wi-Fi, but there's a marketing arm too. They're bringing sponsored advertising. And we've already uh, signed up the first $300,000 for the first year of sponsored advertising. We have another $300,000 that uh, we're in negotiations with. So actually, this whole connectivity for the island will be totally paid for and will save the taxpayer uh, having to spend on, on this. But that decision is up to the island management, the trust, to decide how to uh, work with that. But, so, so the future is bringing gigabit speed but also solving the economic uh, challenge, which is what we do also. We can, with our technology, put a big loop through five boroughs. We actually have shown one to the city through four boroughs at uh, tens of gigabits of speed. For our cost is of the order of a million. To do that with fiber would cost 200 million. That's why fiber, fiberless, our technology, is such a good solution. And, and that, we believe, is the answer to, uh, as I said earlier, ubiquitous coverage, but as Miguel Gamino referred to it, as a smart city. And that's what New York is doing. With all the diversity 
of people, industries, and the future of connectivity, the IoT, Internet of Things, uh, video conferencing and all of that, you have to build a backbone that will carry all of that. And that's what we can do. So we see the opportunity here on the island as a stepping stone, as the city has recognized, to deploying a, uh, a ubiquitous network across the city. And because it's wireless, it can happen very quickly. You know, you trench fiber in, you've got to get all the permits, you have machines lined up, rights away, police details. It's years just to even put one strand of fiber a mile. And we can do it within months. So, so we see this as the future. And we're very hopeful that we can work with the city and make New York City the first smart city in the world. And there are many cities around the world talking about smart city but they don't have the tools in their toolbox to make it happen. And we believe with New York City, we've got a very smart leader in Miguel Gamino and the mayor wanting to make it happen. And we're now at the uh, juncture where we have the technology to make it happen.